crazy cabin today we're going to use acorns to make coffee let's jump into the video So the first thing we want to do with our acorns, so I'm get a bit close, so I'll we'll take them over here and wash them. And mark a little bit of them. Once we've got them all rinsed off, get them into Saucepan. I'm only doing a few because it's my first time ever making it. From what I hear, it's time consuming. And that in there is exactly why you wash it. So take that out. Now. Next step we want to do is get them into water and then take them over to the cooker. And we want to bring that to the boil. And I don't know if you can see just yet. I'll try and zoom in, see if you can see it. But the water has already started to change colour, which is what we want. We've got to keep bringing the acorns to a boil until all the brown tannins have come out. So when the water stays clear while we're boiling it, then they will be fine. Go on, Butch. You're a noisy puppy. <laughs> so yeah, what we want to do is bring them to the boil now let the water change colour then we need to change the water and put them back on again we're going to need to do this a few times which is the time consuming bit and then we move on to the next step so we'll come back in a so little. the acorns have gone on for the bo first boil i don't know if you can see how dark it is but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it over here and refresh the water i'm going to pour some of it into a cup so you can see into this jug might be better actually. So just pour some of this as you can see all the tannins from the acorns are coming out. This is the bit you don't want to drink but it makes great dye for clothes but I don't have any clothes that need dyeing at this particular moment there's me just getting a little contraption ready finish draining them off there we go there we go it's starting to change and split. What we're going to do is we're going to put them back in. There we are, we've got fresh water in there now. And we're going to put this back on the heat boil them up again. Like I said we're going to have to boil them a few times to get all the tannins out before we move on to the next step. So we'll come back in a, month, in a little while. Right we're back. We are ready for round two of removing the tannins from the acorns. Now 
Now apparently it'll take two or three goes, but it's it's getting less and less each time. So Round three, back onto the heat, and we come back in a moment. Right, we're on the what, fourth boil now, I think. Let's zoom out. No way, there we go. There we go. Right, let me zoom in. There we go. And as you can see, the shells have all peeled off and I'll boil it another time just to make it run clear and then we'll get on to the next step so yeah what's, what's this one two three now this is the fifth time that we boiled it up but we've got to keep going until the water is clearer right so we're on the next step we'll get our baking tray Move you guys back. Now we boiled and boiled and boiled and boiled to get the tannins out of the acorns. And then the shells came off and we carried on boiling. Now we left this. I did only do a few. So now what we need to do is we need to spread that out a little bit. Take that one out. That one seems to be a bad one. So what we need to do is take that out. We need to give these a quick pat dry. Preheated oven. We're going to roast them for about 20 minutes. So we just take them off on this towel. It's still got a pat a bit in it. And our last little bit of grease proof here. Acorns on here. I think it boiled them a bit much, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Now we've got our acorns, and we're going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. So the acorns are out of the oven. Boiled up, dried out, and now roasted. Now we're going to use this little contraption here, which I got for free off of Facebook. something extra. Little sprinkle of all spice. Press the button and we'll boil the kettle. Right, 
might see if this contraption actually works. I'm going to use one of the jars we're reusing from Jesse and Lisa. powder, a couple of lumpy bits in there, which we get out with my fingers. It's a strange smell. It's not unpleasant. Just wipe that down and turn that off. And take these bits over for washing up. And now, this is the bit I'm dressing. <laughs> and cut a little bit of something. Okay. I'm going to try a little bit. because I'm a big old baby. We're going to put a sugar in there as well, just the one sugar. Right. Let's wait for that kettle quick. Now I'm going to add a little drop of milk. Put a little drop of milk in this. Uh, it's definitely not gone a coffee colour. This is making me a bit more nervous to try it. So I'm going to add another spoon full of sugar. Oh, good. But I can't be scared to try these things. So leave that there for 
second we'll get some cold water so I can drink it. Make it cool enough. That's probably about cold enough to drink now. Now it definitely doesn't look like a coffee, but it is time to do the tasting. Let's First time I tried acorn coffee. See, it smells okay now with the milk and everything in it. It's oh wow! With the with a bit of allspice in there, and get the nutty taste and all the little spicy bits I think I made the right choice of adding the, the sugar and the milk because with it being the first time I've tried it well actually Actually bad. It's the colour put me off in the fact that it's acorns. But we now have a little jar of acorn coffee. Taste wise, acorn coffee gets a thumbs up from me. The only issue I've got is how long it takes to make it but you have to keep boiling and boiling to get the tannins out but it is nice when you finally get to where it needs to be and you've roasted the acorns and everything else it is actually pretty good and it contains no caffeine so it's a brilliant substitute for coffee and you still get a nutty aroma and I found some facts about acorns. So acorns are a good source of fiber which nourishes your beneficial gut bacteria, which is good. And also they have been long used as a herbal remedy to treat stomach pains, bloating, nausea, diarrhea, and other common digestive complaints. So the only downside is the time it takes to do it because you have to make sure you get them tannins out. You have to keep boiling and keep boiling and changing the water and changing the water over and over again until it starts going clear. And we only did it with about a handful of acorns. And there we are. We've got our own Craig's Cabin coffee made from acorns from Gesslin Wood and from Broad Oak Park. So, acorn coffee. You get a thumbs up from me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a nice comment below and share the channel. Excuse me. Let's get to our 1000. Stay safe, and I'll see you later.